think that the good thing coming up uh, post settlement, um, because we're getting closer, um, will be for our best leaders and minds to focus upon uh, vision for the future. Um, without strong vision um, created by strong leadership, um, we won't get buy-in from an increasingly dispersed um, iwi population. We're strong believers in Whapoma that leadership is a critical issue for Maradam. Um, whether it be in our businesses, in our community, whatever um, roles we take. Uh, but in our businesses we need strong leadership and we need strong governors. The issue of around leadership, it's been something that's been consistent. It's probably been consistent ever since the inception of FOMA, right from that first hui taumata. It was about the leadership and how do we keep developing this leadership. But what I'm hearing now is it's not specifically about leadership. The content is now talking about the right sort of leadership for the time. Going forward, um, things have to be different. There has to be a different attitude. There has to be an increased level of nous, of all of those cool things. Um, so the transformational leadership is just as much about ensuring all of that institutional um, knowledge and experience is passed over in a, in a positive way. Our big Māori organisations are sophisticated corporations. They can compete with anyone. We've got a whole lot of organisations, though, entities that are either emerging or need, you know, um, serious access assistance to um, skilled people. Māori, we already own a substantial uh, and significant asset base, the bulk of which is agribusiness, which is the primary producer in the New Zealand economy. And when you hear, hear that, you get very excited and you think, yay, you know, we must be, we must be doing really well. But um, as individual corporations, some are doing extremely well and some are struggling. Uh, some are very proactive in wanting to do, get into development or exporting. Some are just still finding their feet. And some are, you know, maybe constrained by things, shareholder, what shareholder desires are. But there is all this latent potential, and that latent potential really extends beyond FOMA and the collectors. It's, I take it it's also can extend into the Māori small business entrepreneur sector. The very important co-papa is whilst we're servicing a member, the member has owners, beneficiaries, shareholders, and we're always looking at what is the possibility uh, of going further than representing the member in an advocacy policy focus. But how could we develop programs, services, business investment that would reach deep to their um, to their to their people?